Good morning and welcome to Combatant Baptist Church online service for Sunday the 13th of September. Uh, my name's Keith and I'm going to be leading our service this morning. I know that for many people, especially those with children, I'm um, getting to church for 10.30 on a Sunday morning used to be a real challenge. ready and then we'll get going. No. Okay. Hey, what? you just lay out their clothes because it takes me five minutes. Honey, That's perfect. seriously. Jack, well, we're already late for church. Here hey, Brian. Go get yourself dressed. Did you pick up my stuff from the dry cleaners? Uh, ooh. Yes, but you gotta make it by yourself. Back. Okay. This is all I could find, and the zipper's broken. All right, I'll go grab a safety pin. I got the high score! Uh. Hannah, what are you doing? Daddy, I'm painting your fingernails. Well, that's great, sweetie, but go get dressed. Everybody needs to eat. Here you go. I need one. Here you go. Okay, here you go. I forgot my shoes. Oh. Honey, we gotta go no. back. I wanna take off my shoes. Nobody's taking off their shoes. And I want everybody to understand that we're <gasps> We made it. Yep. But even though we don't have those challenges with getting to online church, um, we're able to watch this service whenever we, we want to. If we're a quarter of an hour late, then the service just starts at 10.45 when we press the play button. And we're not arriving in the building and kind of collapsing into a seat just a few minutes late. Uh, glad that we just simply made it. We made it in one piece, everyone is still alive, and for all intents and purposes, everyone thinks that we are a perfectly happy and normal family. But whenever you're watching this service, things will have happened. Over the last few hours, things will have happened. Over the last few days, things will have happened. Stuff is going on in our lives and so it is good to just take a moment at the beginning of our service to pause 
and to refocus on God. A few verses from Psalm 103 as we think about who God is and what he has done. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can pause and come into your presence this morning. We thank you that you are a loving God, a God who is compassionate and gracious, a God who does not treat us as our sins deserve, but a God who forgives us and picks us up and gives us a new beginning and a fresh start. Heavenly Father, as we watch and listen to this service this morning, may we be conscious of your presence with us. Amen. Sharon has chosen our songs this morning and she's going to be introducing them. And so I'm going to hand over to Sharon for our first song. Good morning. It's really nice to be with you here again this morning. It's always good at the beginning of our worship time together to really remember who we're here um, for. Of course, we come together to be together in uh, normal times, but we come together today, um, whether you're watching um, on Sunday or at another time in the week, really to just know that we are watching something as a community and being together as church. Church isn't the building, has been said many times during this time. Church is the people in it. But we come together because we have a common um, God who we want to worship and who we want to praise. And I always think at the start of our service, it's good to remember um, to thank God for who he is. And this song, Bless the Lord, O My Soul, um, just uh, explains to us <coughs> excuse me, how God is a God of consistency. He is always the same. He is there for us. Um, and he will be there throughout our lives. It's not just about today. It's about our future. It's about what we see ahead of us. And God is there right up until the day when he calls us home to be with him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. <laughs> 